Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for October the 14th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence disclosed plans to introduce a fast-track process for appraising new cost-effective therapies. The move could allow products to be made available on the NHS nearly three months earlier than under the current system. Also in the news, Bristol Myers Squibb's Opdivo was rejected by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence for the treatment of locally advanced or metastatic non-small cell lung cancer after chemotherapy. However, the agency suggested that the company submit a proposal for inclusion in the Cancer Drugs Fund for patients with a PDL1 expression of at least 10%. In other news, a European committee backed conditional approval of Intercept Pharmaceuticals Ocaliva for the treatment of primary biliary cholangitis. The drug maker is required to provide post-approval updates on safety and efficacy analyses from two further studies of the FXR agonist. And finally, the panel also recommended conditional authorization of AbbVie and Roche's Venclixto for the treatment of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. If cleared, the drug would become the first approved BCL2 inhibitor in Europe. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.